Yes, peeps. I'm just checking in tonight, you know. Yeah, man. Create, creating another content. You know, um, tonight I want to speak on a topic. And, but before I speak, I must ask you to like, share, and subscribe the video. Like the video. Subscribe. And share. You know? Yeah, man. Help me grow the channel. I need the channel to grow. And um, I want to reach a thousand. You know? Well, give me give me some likes, some share, and subscribe. You know? Yeah, man. Um, tonight is that night where in that um, I want to talk about, you know, spiritual wickedness in high places and um, low places and high places spiritual wickedness you know from time to time I've been looking how some things happen you know to us as especially to us as black people are poor people and a whole. It's not only just poor or black, but some is just on a wide scale, you know, wherein that people meet misfortune and a lot of things take place and we all think that sometimes they are, we are, we always think that they are natural. Some of we don't even understand it, you know. But the evil, the very Bible tell you that um, everything have a legency behind it. Evil things without life have a legion behind it. Now, in this world, um, there is good and bad, and um, everything has a spirit behind it. And, um, you know, it's like we live in a world where in that many of us don't understand, many of us don't understand the world itself because we. Most of us, most of us, just understand a little about the physical, but when it come on to the spiritual aspect behind things, we don't even know that that exists. You know, we just have a. The only thing that we know is that um, many of us, when we small growing up, they will teach us about um like spirit in a sense where they would have say um somebody die and come back and. You know them way there, and some people call it ghost, some people call it duppy, and all of them stuff. But you know, it's not just only that because, a matter of fact, people don't really die and come, come and came back. It's just that um, spirit do exist in the world that um, among us as human beings that that walking around, and um, we just can't see them. You understand? Because if you don't have spiritual eyes, you cannot see spiritual things. You know, and, you know, some people are very clever. They know how to use this spirit to do things for them. You know, they know how to tap in. While some people don't know how to tap in. No, it's like many people who know how to do certain works or certain art, or you call it science or what of you, they know how to tap into nature and get some stuff done, you know, while some don't know. They are luck in wisdom, in knowledge. 
they lock in knowledge in certain things while some people tap into things uh, they realize that um they they stop they, they tap in the in another rim wearing um uh, they know that others others don't know about that they don't know how to tap the tap in and because of that now they use it not for good purpose or good use but they use it against each other they use it against other people they use it to suppress of people you understand they are not doing these things because they are tapping 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 into um i mean to, to, to for the, for their own good you know they tap in because they want to use they they, they want to have some form of supernatural power that they can use to destroy other people or have other people under their command you know where they can command and um people other others have to obey them and so forth you know so it's just a way of um being unfair and um because the art of men and women these times not just only this time but from way back then you know are corrupted in themselves selfish because of selfishness you understand they they want to be in charge they want to be on top they want to be at the front they want to be in charge of everything because of that you find out that they 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 they, they go seek other powers you know other powers where in that um they use it to oppress and suppress others around them you know because it is a selfish reason because why you come in this world and um you you are not god and um you just a creation of god came into the world and um this world does not belong to any anybody but god himself who created the world and created all things in it and god did not create his creation to fight against each other god created his creation and he said that it was good so god created us to be good and in a good state and live good be good live and make others live and um you know we should live as if we are in paradise you know together we should live together but because i'm um, ambitiousness and some people want to you know pr pride fill many people's art they want to be this great leader they want to be this uh, people above other people so because of this ambitiousness they search and they dig and they find stuff to you know do that which they to empower them to empower their ambition you know so they they they, they work their, their their works becomes evil their works becomes evil and because of that they use their their power they, they use they, they they study so deep and find out that things they find out things about nature that they can use to tap into nature and it gives them a certain power 
that they are looking for. And these people will go to the extra mile to make sacrifice. Some of them even in time, they will even sacrifice even them own children. They will do all sort of ritual, evil things just to gain power and to achieve so to have achieved certain power. But what do they use this power for? Evil means, you understand, to suppress, to oppress, and to destroy. You understand? They don't use this power for good reason or any good purposes and so forth, right? And they use this power to suppress others, yeah? Some people use it to, to, to gain what they want to gain, but they in so doing, they suppress others, people with it, you understand? And um, many people are so grudgeful, you know, they had um, a bad we about them um, envy, jealous, and so forth. So, whenever time they are around others and they see other people striving, they try to use this ritual that they have created to destroy other people by working these science this type of science against other people, you know? But these things are wrong, these things are not good, and these things are evil, you know? You have even some people going to church, calling upon God, and um, saying that they are good people, uh, but yet still, they are still mixed up in all these ritual, doing all these ritual to destroy other people, yeah? Some people doing it and behaving and thinking as if they are doing the right, the right thing. Some people doing it, believing that um, as if um, it's okay to do it. You understand? And some people doing it as if it is not evil. Some people, you know, it's just, they, they, it becomes a part of them. So tell, it, it, it's, just, it's just come like a cultural thing to them, you know? And um, we, people on a whole, need to change the narrative thinking because, you see, many people use these things and you find out that you're saying to yourself that how comes they had this power to do these things that they are, they, they, they are doing to hold back others and to keep down others and yet still their life many of them their life is in a mess and things is happening to them at times we are in that they don't want things to go down that way how it's happening to them but yet still they can't change that but yet still they had power to destroy other people. So when they take it out, the whole thing is just wickedness, cruelty, and just a back way thinking. Because it's like, let me tell you something. It's like, once you give into the devil, because the devil is the master of witchcraft and evil, practicing so it's the master of evil and uh, the deceptor a, a, a deceiver you understand 
So no one cannot tell lie as best as how the devil can do it. No one cannot deceive as best as the how the devil can do it. So it's the thing about it. The devil is a spirit, you know. And when the human being, especially the human being, take on the devil to work with the devil, the first thing, the first deception is to think that they can work with the devil. You've been deceive yourself already. And once you deceive yourself, you can't help yourself again. That's where you're gone. You're gone because it's easier if somebody deceive you, you can catch up back and realize that you've been deceived by somebody. You understand? And maybe some someone else can help you get out of that because it's like someone deceive you. But when you deceive yourself, it's hard to wake up out of that because why? You believe a lie. So in other words, a strong delusion come to you to continue in that lie. So you will leave that lie and continue in the lie. You understand? Because I see a lot of people been going to witchcraft people working witchcraft saying that um these people are doing good for them and this man or this woman is a good man or a good woman working iniquity but how comes people can be on the side of satan the devil working witchcraft and how them be good. Yeah, how them be good. You see, in this world, a lot of people turn a lot of things back way upside it down. You understand? You have some people, when something good, them call it wicked. When something tastes nice, them say it wicked. <laughs> they, they're confused. You understand? They don't use word in the context that they should use. They use them in a different format. You understand? And even confusing themselves and try to confuse other people as well. You know? But in this world, you know, we just have to try to do the good that we can and try to know what is good and do good. Right? Because doing Evil and practicing evil in this world only messed up the world and messed up the other generation to come and, you know, spoil a lot of things. And, you know, we just, at every generation come, they said something that will spoil the other generation to come. They don't try to change things or change the narrative the narrative that is around that were oppressing and suppressing their nation what they do is still continue on the legacy of which what was set before them before and advance and the next nation come again and advance on it and so forth but how our world is gonna fix if we don't try to fix it at some point we're in that it's so it's just that we just have to come together as a nation and a lot of stuff that we are doing we change from doing them and um, decided that we're not going that way and decided that we want the next generation to come to be better you understand because the next generation coming 
is our our family, our our sons and daughters and you know, nieces and nephews and so forth and why would we want them to come into a dangerous world? Why we don't try to change a lot of things that we are doing because um many things that we are doing they don't make no sense. They are just wickedness and evil and cruelty. You know, we just get tricked and become a, a slave to the enemy, which is the enemy is Satan. You understand? That's what the, the nation becomes um, weak to the devil and the, have the devil using them, wearing that they, they just confusing themselves and they, they, they don't realize that they are confused. But they can them themselves can come from under the, that confusion. You understand? Them themselves can wake up out of that confusion. You understand? And change their ways because it's all about their selfishness and their ego and one want to be on top of the other. You understand? So everybody you know, fighting for power, fighting for power and um, messing up the world, you understand? Because it don't make no sense. That's, you know, it doesn't make no sense. We should be here on the planet looking out for each other, protecting each other, make the world the place that we want it to be in a good way. And we all should live as one in paradise. You know, we can create that paradise. We all, all human beings, we can create that paradise. And um, the thing about it, um, we should grow up our children from a young age because um, the children are the future. And um, we should instill in the children the right method, the right the, the, use the right method and teach them the right thing so that when they grow up in the world they do the right thing and teach their children the right thing because you know if we start from teaching the child our children and our children children the right thing then the world will change in the right direction. But if if we messed it up and teach our children otherwise, then in other words, the world will be in chaos at all times and it will be always going backward, backward and backward, you know. So let us change the, the 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 narrative of things how we human beings create them into being and put them back in the format or oh God did create them to be, you know, so that we in this world can live as one and the world will be one community again and you know we will have a better a better world, you know. We will have a better world, you know. Stop oppressing and suppressing people around you and especially, you know, pre pressuring your, your, your neighbor or pressuring those who are suppressing those who work under your control you know such as like people who who are in charge of you know workplace and you know and in charge of um people that are in the authority don't oppress and suppress the people you know always be remorseful always show kindness always show love show compassion to people and be 
be yourself, you know, be yourself. And, um, but always be the best version of you and do good at all time because good is better, doing good is better than to do evil, you know, and um, always keep a positive thinking, a positive mind, you know, and always thinking, think about upliftment, how to uplift the nation, uplift um, others, and because in this world, and you know, if we come together, you know, as one people, we can be very powerful. You know, we can be, we can create the world in to be paradise, you understand, with the help of God, because God will help us, you know, if we would um, just do the right thing, if we should do the right thing and try to live as brothers and sister in this world and each man each brother and sister be their brothers and sisters keeper in other words this world will be a better place if we all look out for one another if we all reach out to each other if we all show love you understand because a lot of stuff that we are doing in this world they don't make sense you understand they don't make no sense at all because all we do is just creating mist in the world and make the world a worse place for us to live and a worse place for the next generation to come you understand so in other words we shouldn't want to um depending on um governments are you know, some people to lead us in some form of slavery or some kind of um, brutal punishment or some harsh punishment for us to change the narrative of the world. In a good way, we should um, just get up and everybody just decided within themselves, say, look, no more evil thought or evil doing and you know um, it's time for us to change and you know we are living in a modern world and you know we expose to um, things and we are more uh, we are more highlighted we, 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 we are not ignorant you know of things and we come this far so you know we shouldn't want to shape the world more in the iniquity but we should want to more shape, uh, shape the world in a a good way of living you know and a nice way that we can be proud of our self and be proud of our nation and you know God himself can be proud of us but Many people don't want that, you know. Many people, it's like they behave in as if they can't help themselves when they come on to do evil and iniquity. And, you know, you know, it's, it, it, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. But, you know, peeps, you know, we just, you know, even we are doing... Many of us on the platform, on our platform, doing YouTube and so forth. We should be good, in for a good influence to the people, the others, that because we becomes like a mouthpiece for others. We are in. We can. We have a platform that we can speak of on topic, speak on things, and you know, other people can able to. Um, watch us and see the good works that we do and you know they had something can follow off us some example you know so we should be people that set example for other people so that they can able you know 
you know, able to do something good, you know, you know, and make good of themselves, you know, you know, in life, we must try to do good and make good happen in the world, you know, yeah, man. So right now, Gabby G is a positiveness, you understand, positive, be positive. You understand? Teach the youth them right, you know. Don't teach them how to fuss and fight. Teach the youth them right, you know. Yeah, man. This is Gabby G, man. One love, man. One love. Gabby G said love, you know. Let love spread. Love go around the world. You know, let love, you know. You understand? We are the world. We are the people. We are the one to make a brighter day just for you and me, you know. So we need for do that, man. We need for come as one man. Bob Marley said, one love, one art. Let's get together and be all right, man. Trust me. People, one love, one art. Let's get together and be all right. We don't have to do no, no form of corruption. And a farm for achieve. Because Bob Marley sing the song again and let him tell you, say, You're working iniquity to achieve vanity. But who's to ever dig it a pit shall fall in it. Shall fall in it. And he may even say, he may even show us that um, they're playing smart but not being clever. Them not being clever, you know? Because them only make a mess. And the, the, the old mess that them make create a pit and them fall into it. You understand? Them say, don't work iniquity to achieve vanity. You understand? Because why? At the end of the day, it's destruction, you know? So I, I can show you, you know, that Sometimes the way of a man seems right, but the end thereof is destruction. So why we go walk in destruction? We don't confuse myself. We need to live as one. We need to create the world in a better place. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing about it, we as people, we have to come together and do it because the government not going to do it. The government have their own plan to do their own thing. You understand? So we have to create a better society for ourselves, a better way of life, a better liberty. You understand? A better, a better what? Liberty. You understand? A better liberty. We need to do that, man. People, we need to wake up, man. Wake up and try our best and do every man do his part. You understand? And it will happen, you know? Yeah, man, so blessed love and peace, guide and protection to all the people of the world. And, you know, no wrongdoing, no wrong move, no iniquity, no witchcraft working against each other, no holding down one another, you know, in the workplace are fighting for position, you know. And all of them things, no night don't make no sense, you know. No night don't make no sense. Let us work together as one people and make the world a better place. Blessed love and peace, protection, guidance. Gabby G, I'm out.